I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Well folks, what this video is about, I guess it's going to be a series of videos. I want to show you exactly how much a $2,700 backhoe is really going to cost. Uh, you can buy stuff in all kinds of states of disrepair. And just because you got it for a certain price don't mean that's what you're going to end up having in it. Uh, however, I checked this thing out pretty good before I bought it. I, I don't think I'm going to have much in the way of any major expense. And if I do, I do. But uh, I sold one like this before I went to Iraq. I sold one like this. The only difference was it had to extend the hoe. And I sold it for $11,000. So I ain't crying about this. I had another old, old backhoe. It was just plumb wore out. I sold for $3,000. I mean plumb wore out. But uh, uh, what happened, the first repair we're going to do on this is we're going to replace... A hydraulic hose. That's a very common thing that uh, you get into when you work in all this hydraulic equipment is replacing them hoses. Because let's face it, these these uh, pieces of equipment normally are not stored indoors out of the weather. They they sit out there in the parking lot or the field or or the wherever. They just sit out there in the elements, you know, uh, 12 months out of the year, and. Uh, People just sort of neglect them and they just when a hose pops you go buy another well hopefully I'll be able to build me a shelter for this but right now what I want to do is I want to show you how to uh, replace a hydraulic hose for those of you that do know thank you for watching I know you got better things to do <laughs> but this is pretty simple and uh, you don't really you know lots of things are mysteries and you're sort of afraid to mess with something if you don't know nothing about it and there's nothing wrong with uh, being hesitant to screw up something okay you know you don't want to just necessarily fly in there and just screw something all to hell but anyway let me show you uh, we had one little hose go bad here and it wasn't from uh, from anything that I had done and it wasn't broken before or when I bought it. What actually happened was when the guy went to pick it up for me, he got this boom down in a position and then he ended up putting a strain on it and it put back pressure on the dab blame hose and it popped this old hose. And you can see here, I mean, look here, the outside rubber is gone. This right here is a metal and it's uh, it's got all kinds of barbs on it. But anyhow, I went ahead and I bought a set of wrenches, a 15 piece set of wrenches at uh, Harbor Freight Tools. These Pittsburgh wrenches, they have a lifetime guarantee. So hell, that's just as good as damn, as damn uh, uh, craftsmen. I mean, hell, if they're gonna guarantee them, if they're gonna guarantee them for life, well, I pay double the price. And I got the ones that's got that notch in there so you can really get right up in there on that, on that, uh, on that nut. I went ahead and broke these free just in case because I didn't know if I was going to have to go get my, my uh, super duper penetrating oil to, to get this loose right here. But what you're going to find when you're dealing with these hoses is you're going to find a couple of different type of fittings. Now, this fitting right here this one does not swivel. This is just one solid piece. And so, you know, your break point is right here. 
and we pull this off. This one over here is actually a swivel joint and you see I can I can turn the nut I can turn the outside nut on this I'd already got it started a while ago and I can go ahead and twist this off and lift it off there okay another thing you want to do this thing right here I gave it some support because I was putting a lot of pressure here I got in there and pried against it to give it some support so I didn't bend that metal line but uh all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this thing loose. But one of the things that I do, because even though I'm going to head right over to the auto parts store to have a new hose made up, even though I want to head right over there, he might not have one of these fittings in stock. And uh, I might have to go to a different town to get it made. So I don't want to leave these uh, fittings exposed to the elements. I don't want trash getting in them. I don't want bird shit getting in them. I don't want it raining in them. So I'm going to cover these with plastic and and uh, either tape or string or something. I'll cover these up and then uh, uh, they'll be protected because it's already you know like three o'clock in the afternoon and whenever I go to get the piece should it get dark on me, I'm not going to come out here in the dark, but I'll be able to let this set overnight without worrying about something getting in it. So, until I go get that plastic, I'm just going to set this right back in place just for now. Alright. Alright, well I got me some plastic, so we're going to, we're going to get this uh, taken care of here no big deal I mean you don't have to do this but it's just something I like to do so I don't have to worry about it I don't have to say oh my god I gotta hurry and get back because that's gonna happen or I gotta watch the weather or whatever by the way I want to tell you on these wrenches I was very pleased uh, they weren't they weren't very expensive at all and I had a 25% off discount coupon so that made a big difference. Okay, got that covered up. It's a plastic bag with Christmas presents for my granddaughters. Came in, my wife ordered from Walmart online. Okay. And I'm just gonna We're just going to use this plastic like a little rope here. It ain't got to be real strong. It's just, just something to keep the trash out. Well, there's the old one. And there's the new one. I told him if it was an inch longer, it wouldn't hurt, but it couldn't be no shorter. Okay. Anyway, uh, you know me, I like doing it cheap. And I went in the auto parts store and I've been told that they were the only ones in town that made hydraulic hoses. And I thought that was kind of unusual because I knew of a... <coughs> I knew of a uh, auto parts store in my other town that always made them, so I didn't know why one city would and one city wouldn't, but I was asking an old farmer friend of mine and he, he told me where to go. Well, uh, I don't want to say which auto parts store it was because I don't want to make them look bad, but the first thing I did, because I knew that I knew the place in my town was very reasonable on making these. First thing I did is I asked the old boy, I said, how much is that thing going to cost me? And he said, uh, oh, $40, $50. 
I said, no, 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 no. I said, uh, why don't you price that thing out? And uh, so he went, went back there to get the exact parts and all that. And he, uh, he come back and he said, have you got an account here? And I said, no, I pay cash. I said, uh, I said, I said, what about a military discount? He said, oh yeah. He said, yeah, I can do it for $25. I said, all righty then, get to doing. Well, <laughs> he, uh, He got her done, and uh, he said, well, tax, that'd be $27 and something. And I said, well, how much was that thing going to be original? He said, 45 I said, holy crap. So it just shows you, it don't hurt to ask for a discount. And I wanted to get on over here, even though I'm losing my light, I wanted to get on over here and make damn sure uh, uh, I get this put in before it got dark. And I looked at this end right here and it looked a little, just a little bit funky. Get that sun mist just right. Uh, anyway, we're gonna keep track on what it really costs to own a $2,700 backhoe. Because obviously, when you buy something that cheap, you're gonna have you're gonna have things you're gonna have to do to it. You got repairs, and uh, I anticipate it. I had one just like this, except it was a, what's called an extender hoe. And I had sold that thing for $11,000 before I went to Iraq. So it wasn't going to bother me to have to put a, even another $1,000 in this thing. There we went. Screwed in fine once I got, got it straight. But anyway, we're going to just see what I end up having in this little rascal. So, I'm gonna count the freight. Because like I was talking about that Harbor Freight, or Harbor Freight uh, Trencher, even you buy that thing, you still gotta pay, pay freight to get it shipped to you. They won't ship it to the store, they gotta ship it to you. And you gotta pay them for a tailgate fee, by the way. You got to pay a tailgate fee if you're not having it delivered to a place that's got a loading dock. Yeah. Anyway, that's all there is to replace one of these hoses. Don't get hung up thinking you're going to repair your hose. Don't even, don't even think about that. What you need to do is just go ahead, bite the bullet, take your old hose in, get a new one made. And get it on there and you're done with it because this is extremely high pressure. And there just ain't no, uh, there ain't no way you're gonna be able to uh, fix it properly. Uh, you, you just can't jerry-rig this. This is one thing you do need to have, have made up for you. And then it's done, and, and it, it'll probably last your lifetime. I know it'll last mine. I got this one right here, same age as the one that 
pop, but I'll replace them as they go. All right, well, folks, that was the first step. So we was at $2,700 purchase price, $350 to have it delivered, and now $27.50 for this. And also notice the guy that went after it made one of my front tires flat. So I have to look into that, see if I'm gonna need to put a tube or just repair it, I don't know. I won't know until I get into it. But that's gonna be my next step is fixing a flat tire on the left front. Well, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.